Hey family, welcome back to another video with your favorite auntie. Okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Welcome back to another video, you guys. Anyway, in today's video, listen, it's a lot going on. You're probably looking at the screen, the phone, the whatever you're looking at it on, saying, what is she doing now? Anyway, y'all, I'm about to flip this china cabinet. Look how dirty it was. Anyway, I bought this piece off of OfferUp for $40, you guys. The entire piece, $40. It had a few dings and, you know, a little bit of unlove on it. And I'm just going to repair the entire thing, give it a brand new look, jazz her up, give her her fabulousness back, okay, and sell her to a new owner where she will live her life happily ever after, okay? Okay. So also stay tuned to a little bit later in this video so that I can share some other great things with you guys. Anyway, as you can see, I have already cleaned the piece, prepped the piece. Um, I think I showed you what I used. If I didn't, I will make sure to put it on the screen. What I used to clean the piece off and it actually took several cleans, okay? Um, you probably have already guessed that on this particular piece, I am using chalk paint because that is my go-to paint. I absolutely love how chalk paint dries, how it self-levels, how it doesn't require any sanding, okay? Um, I love everything about it. Now, when I am done painting this piece, I will seal it um, with either polyacrylic or even a wax. I'm not sure yet, but just keep on watching. Um, also, I'm painting this piece black. The majority of the piece will be black. And you'll have to just keep watching to see, you know, what else happens with the piece. Also, I do want to reuse the hardware from this piece because to me, that's just what makes it so fabulous is all the hardware. And so I'm going to be cleaning that here shortly. But I just want you guys to sit here and watch me paint also fun fact um i used to flip furniture before pre youtube days actually in 2000 when i had the house built that you guys are familiar with i was purchasing thrifted furniture some i was flipping for profit and some i was flipping to put into the house a lot of pieces which you guys seen when i did come to youtube i still have so I'm just going back to what I know, what I love to do, which is create, be creative, and bring the old back to life and give it a new life and all that stuff. You know, we all need love, sis. We all need love. Also, if you are unfamiliar about furniture flipping, sis, bro, what are you doing? Because furniture flipping has become a major thing. A major thing for one, because people like things that they feel they are the only ones with, number one. Two, I know a lot of people don't care for newer furniture just because it's not made quite the same as these heavier, old, older pieces. And because, you know, people just like saving things from the landfill. We got enough trash in the landfill. So... Us who love flipping furniture will try to keep things like this from going to the landfill. Anyway, I will make sure this flip and any flip I bring you here going forward, I'll give you the full insight on the cost of the piece, what I invested into the piece, what I sold the piece for, so what my profit is. And we'll just keep um, kind of an ongoing thing with the furniture flipping in the event any one of you watching this video are motivated to do the same i want you to see exactly kind of what you can look forward to now i will say it's not always an easy job for example this piece i could have sprayed the piece and you will see future furniture flips where i do spray the piece instead of hand painting it but this piece was so intricate in terms of the detail on it i just felt like i would still have to come back and do a lot of hand work even with spraying it i don't know maybe the next china cabinet will try and 
compare the difference. But for right now, I'm going the old fashioned hard work way. It was very back breaking. And I also, also explain to you how um, to get the best profit for the piece. We'll just, we'll just make it a whole thing. You know, Auntie ain't got nothing but time on her hands. <laughs> but to do stuff like this. So stay tuned. Leave me a comment down below. Let's stay in touch, stay in the know. Let me know what you think about all the things going on in this video. And keep watching. Spend some time talking with you. So as I mentioned previously in the video that I wanted to really try and save the hardware that came on the piece because to me that's just what make the piece, how gaudy and big it is. So I'm using this barkeeper's friend to try and bring it back to life. I think this is my second time using this. Um, I am in love with this hardware. And I'm thinking if the barkeeper's friend doesn't work, that I will just spray paint it, but I'm really trying to avoid spray painting it. And I will tell you that it has taken a few coats of cleaning, letting it dry, cleaning, letting it dry to get it to where it's going to be when I share it with you in just a second. But before we move on, speaking of hardware, I want to bring to you a sponsored portion of this video. This portion of the video is sponsored by Golden Warm. They were kind enough to send me out some new drawer pulls. Y'all, this site has some very, very beautiful pulls. I'm talking pulls that will go with any project you're working on, be it you're redoing a bathroom, a kitchen, furniture, it does not matter. They have something on this site. As I was scrolling through everybody. their site trying to figure out what I wanted to review because we are well past time, you guys, for new hardware here in the kitchen. And you are literally about to see why. Over a year ago, we redone this kitchen. And at the time, we kind of just did what we needed to do in terms of finances. And so we spray painted the current hardware that we already had, which was silver, to gold because that was my aesthetic. So I was so, so happy when this company reached out to me because I didn't want to have to close the holes, do new measurements, all of that. So I chose hardware that is adjustable, that will allow me the opportunity to leave my holes exactly where they are and just adjust the pole and you'll see that here in just a second the customer service was dead on i had no problems when i had questions they had no problems answering my questions and fairly quick as well this is the piece that you actually screw into the cabinetry and then it has that hole there where you insert the pole to adjust where you want it to sit and then you just secure that little tip right there to keep the pole in place and that is it you guys again they do have so many things to choose from on their site you will not be disappointed first thing we got to do is remove the hardware that's already here so we can install the new look what a huge difference this has made it still gives us that oversized feel that we were going for for our tall cabinetry yet it's not so in your face and the hue of gold is perfect it's my favorite brush gold color in this gold metal actually and it is made a huge difference so far let me show you the before on this particular cabinet and then i'm gonna show you what it looks like after and i'm actually gonna save you the headache of watching me change out everything <laughs> i'm not gonna do you like that but look how beautiful that is so beautiful look at the difference 
between the old cabinetry hardware and the new cabinetry hardware. Still oversized, still sleek, still gives me that wow factor without being so in my face. So here is the finished look of the cabinetry pulls installed. I have like two more that I need to um, install, but we have to get two longer screws. I want to give them a huge shout out for sponsoring this portion of today's video. You guys also, they are kind enough to be sponsoring a giveaway for you guys. The rules are very simple. You need to be following me here on, um, excuse me, on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. Make sure you're following them on Instagram. The giveaway will last for five days from the date of this video. And you will need to go to my last Instagram post and just say something like, enter me, auntie. Um, hey, auntie, I love you. The drawer pulls, the handles. Say something so that I'll know you want to be entered. They're going to select you after that. You have 48 hours once they contact you to reach out to them so that they'll hold your prize. And here is the final look. They came so much more brighter. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, so now we can go ahead and apply these to the piece after I seal it a couple coats. So stay tuned for that portion of the video. Sometimes things just don't turn out how you envision them to do. And so what you're looking at right now is round one. And I decided that I wanted to change a couple things up. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. I wasn't feeling the sheen that the gloss, the sealer was giving this. I didn't want any reflection coming off of this. And then to be honest with you, this piece said, mm, I'm not supposed to be black <laughs> on the outside. So some things changed, but that's just how projects work. So here I am back to the drawing board. I'm about to strip it all the way down to the natural wood. So I'm gonna be using a stripper to strip the wood down so that I can sand it. I'm also gonna, yeah, you know what? Just stay tuned. Let me not say too much, yeah.
wishing I could take a break from this world Running on a hamster wheel but searching for something 